Okay, so now we proceed with the another topic. Uh, I mean another subtopics, uh, which is uh, elementary row operation, or in short, we call it as ERO. Okay, I use ERO. Hopefully, after this, you understand lah. Kalau saya tulis, I mean, kalau if I write or I mention ERO means it's elementary row operation. Okay, so uh, before before okay because like I said. Just now, I will explain the Gauss animation first, right? But before we go into these methods, I will explain first what is elementary row operation because you will learn this or you will use this to solve by using Gauss animation. Uh, yeah, Gauss elimination term. Alright, so what is elementary row operation or ERO? So the first thing first, our aim ataupun dia punya objective ya yeah, objective our objective is to get the value for x y z lah of course but for the to use a row reduction here because it's a row reduction maksudnya it's re reduce reduce okay so before that you need to know first okay because of you want to reduce a matrix we into what into and upper triangular matrix so row reduction here is to reduce a matrix into an upper triangular matrix okay upper triangular matrix or we call it also as a row echelon form so if you can see back or you look at back at the lo the number one okay so now we want to, we will cover uh, the LO number 1 lah, okay, LO number 1 is We want to reduce a matrix into a Upper triangular or, okay, ataupun Row, actually for masa, upper triangular row is the same thing lah, okay Okay, so what's mean by Upper triangular ataupun row actually form ni, okay, what's mean by that one, okay I, I explain upper triangular eh, because of why Because of, because of you, you can see that like I said just now or in the previous video I said that this is lower triangular this is upper triangular so means that you need to use again what is upper triangular so that's why I will brief by using term upper triangular instead of row actual form but I hope that you clear that row actual form and upper triangular is the same for this one for the LMT row operation row, row actual form and upper triangular is the same matrix okay Okay, so upper triangular is a matrix. Okay, it's a square matrix. It must be a square matrix. Square matrix tu must be size somewhere. 3 by 3, 2 by 2, 4 by 4 and so on. Okay, so what's mean by upper triangular that you can see here. Okay, these three values here must be zero. Must be. Kena. Wajib. Kosong. And then the rest yang atas ke atas ni, it can be any number. Okay, ni. Uh, I mean can be any values lah Okay But these three must be zero Okay So this is upper triangular Okay Upper triangular is a zero down here And the rest will be a number This is upper triangular And we also have a lower triangular Okay Do you have any idea Kalau si, kal, If this one is upper triangular How about lower triangular How about lower triangular Okay, try to figure out. Try to think first. Okay, I show you example here. Yeah? Okay, I hope that you can see lah. Okay, so this is a matrix. Okay, do you see? Okay, this is the matrix. 1, 2, 4, 0, 2, 5, 0, 0, 3. This is 3 by 3 matrix. And then you can see that the three numbers down here, okay, this one, are zeros. And the rest is the numbers. They have a values lah. Okay, so this is the upper triangular. Okay, so now my question, if this is upper triangular, can you give me the example of lower triangular even though we didn't touch on lower triangular yet but uh, I just want to get the feedback from you how the lower triangular looks like ok 
Okay. So, okay, you look at the below one, the matrix yang bawah ni. So, this is the matrix of lower triangular. Okay, the lower triangular means the zeros, the zeros entry just now, the triang the, the shape is on the right, uh, on the ups. Okay, the atas is, is, is located at the above side. And then, all this one is the numbers, all numbers, all numbers, right? So, this is upper triangular and this is lower triangular. And then, what, what's mean by triangular? Because of you can see that the shape is triangular, triangular, okay? Alright, so this is the lower and upper triangular. Okay, so we're back to the slide again. So, for the ERO, if you want to reduce it, become upper triangular. Okay. Alright, so, since the name is ERO, row operation, so they also have a few operation that involve. Uh, there are beberapa lah operation involve. There are tiga eh. Okay, the first one here. Okay, the first one is about the interchange row. Interchange row. Interchange row bermaksud you tukar antara row 1 dengan row 2. Row 1 dengan row 3. Row 2 dengan row 3. Tak kisah. As long as it happen to interchange it row. Okay. For example, you can see here uh, ROI exchange with RJ. Maksudnya IJ. IJ is a different number lah. Maksudnya kalau R, this is R1, this is R2 lah. So you change. Okay. For example, okay. For example, you have a matrix 2 by 2 here. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, then you interchange your R1 and R2 means that you swap. Okay, you swap these two. So, if the original one, 0, 1 is on the row number 1. So, after you swap, 0, 1, it become in row number 2. And row number 2, it become row number 1. Okay? Alright? So, then, for the number 2, is a multiply any row with a scalar. Okay. So, maksudnya kalau, maksudnya kita nak darabkan row yang kita pilih tu, we choose any row, row 1 or row 2, and then we multiply with a number, a scalar. So, you, here you can see that, for example, from this one, the original one, okay, the original one, 2, 4, 1, 3 here, yeah. then after you multiply with the half, ataupun, yalah, I mean, it can be, you can multiply any number. So, for this example, it multiply with half. So, this is the new matrix that you get after you apply or after you multiply with a scalar K. And K here is 1 over 2. Okay. So, this is a multiplication between a scalar. Okay. So, now for the number 3 is a row replacement. This is the most, uh, what we call the operation that we will use in the Gauss elimination. Row replacement. Okay. Row replacement. So means that you will replace row G. It's not interchange, right? It's different between row. It's, it's, uh, interchange is simple. You just swap. But for replacement is something that uh, uh, I mean it's complex compared to interchanges lah, okay? Tapi dia taklah susah, okay? But, okay, we will use, I mean we wish, I wish you use one by one. Okay, but uh, this is how the process. Okay, it's, it's look like, yeah, yeah, betul lah, dia akan nampak macam messy, tapi actually, it's simple. Okay, alright, so, okay, you can see this is the matrix, okay. Mm. Okay, I, I explain first, okay, so this is the original matrix, okay, this is the original matrix, 1, 0, 3, 3, 5, negative 2, negative 2, 1, and negative 3. Okay, now... Okay, because of this is, like I said, this is a row reduction. Okay, row reduction. And we want to reduce it to become triangular matrix. Okay, if you can see, okay, this is the answer lah, the answer. Okay, this is the answer. So, you can see that you will, the final answer here is a upper triangular. Okay, because you already make it zeros here. So, this is upper triangular. Ataupun actual, right upper, ataupun nama dia apa panggil? Row echelon form. Okay. So, you can see that from the original one, to get this answer, they have a few. Okay, dia ada tiga lah. Satu, dua, tiga. Yang row, uh, arrow purple tu eh, the process. So, they have three 
row replacement operation that involve to get this answer. Hmm. Okay, so kat sini dia ada brief lah. Dia ada beritahu. Okay, macam mana? Okay, for example. Okay, for example. Okay, the blue one. Okay, the because of you, you can tengok. Kenapa yang nombor satu tak tak ada apa-apa? Sebab, uh, because of kita nak reduce yang bawah ni, tiga ni. Kosong, kosong, kosong. Kat sini, masih entry yang ini. So, row one takkan kacau apa-apa. So, you can see that row one from original, uh, the middle one and the last one, it remain the same. Because we we didn't touch on, I mean we didn't make any changes in the row one. Okay, alright. So okay, we will start with the number three here. Okay, because we know that this one this should be zero at the end. This should be zero. This should be zero, and this should be zero. Okay, but you start with the row two. You cannot jump. Uh, I mean you cannot directly do it this one. Tak boleh. You can do it row by row. So, means that you can do it row 2 first. After row 2, you do it row 3. After row 3 column 1, then baru you buat row 3 column 2. Okay, you need to follow the sequence. Okay, alright. So, here you can see that 3. Okay, 3. Okay, our in your mind, you want to make it 3 become 0. You want to make make it 3 become 0 so what you need to do okay so okay i think i will write lah okay i will write in a piece of paper and then i will show you but if you can understand this one it's good okay but to help more to help you to more understand i will write in i for paper so i will record as you as uh, what i do last week okay so Ah uh, yeah, okay. I will show this example, okay, in the next video, right? Okay.